Welcome to ENB Tech. Today as our topic is plastic to green fuel. Process to convert plastic trash into clean hydrogen fuel. Today, we are diving into the process of converting plastic trash into clean hydrogen fuel. Plastic litter, like contaminated food packaging and plastic bags, is challenging to recycle. It often ends up incinerated or in landfills, causing water and ground pollution. Enter pyrolysis, a high-temperature chemical process that can convert plastic waste into hydrogen and carbon nanotubes. Hydrogen is a clean fuel source that can power electric vehicles and generate electricity with only water as a byproduct. Did you know that the 269 million kilograms of plastic waste floating in our oceans could power an electric vehicle for 20 to 40 million kilometers? That's 500 to 1000 times the Earth's circumference. Plastic waste to hydrogen conversion involves two stages. First, the plastic waste is heated, decomposing it into gases with low concentrations of hydrogen molecules. Then, these gases enter a reactor filled with a catalyst, releasing hydrogen fuel and forming carbon nanotubes. Pyrolysis, the thermal decomposition process used in plastic to hydrogen conversion, has a rich history dating back centuries. It has been used to produce charcoal, bio-oil, energy from organic waste, carbon black, and even for soil remediation. Pyrolysis offers advantages like waste reduction, energy recovery, versatility in processing various organic materials. However, it requires significant energy input and can produce emissions and solid residues that need proper management. The pyrolysis process breaks down plastic waste into smaller molecules, releasing hydrogen gas as a valuable byproduct. The decomposition process is complex and can involve various reactions such as chain scission, breaking of polymer chains and random bond cleavage. The smaller molecules containing carbon and hydrogen atoms are alkenes alkanes aromatics. Hydrogen gas formation. It is generated through various pathways including thermal cracking, high temperatures cause the plastic molecules to break apart releasing hydrogen atoms that combine to form H2 molecules. Steam reforming, if steam is introduced into the reactor, it can react with carbon-rich fragments, producing additional hydrogen gas through a process called steam reforming. Water gas shift reaction, in the presence of carbon monoxide, CO, or carbon dioxide, CO2, the water gas shift reaction can occur, generating more hydrogen gas. With precise control and purification steps, we can maximize the yield of clean hydrogen fuel while minimizing unwanted byproducts. Together, let's turn plastic trash into a clean energy solution.